everybody. So what I'm going to do today with you is you will see attached in the Google Classroom assignment, the shadow box planning sheet. I have printed it or I have put it into the assignment as a PDF for you to print, or you could complete this in a Google draw form by inserting images through Google and you'll watch me do that in our Google Meet session. But the first thing you're going to do is add your name. And then the date and what class we are. So it is the 10th and it is 2A here. And you're going to fill out your mind map. So I'm going to fast forward this quite a bit, but you'll see that you are going to include different things about yourself, like future plans, family, hobbies, TV, books, and music, movies as well, things you love, fears. Now, one thing to remember, in certain things like family, you could include family members if you want to, but if you have certain traditions that you love to do with your family, like maybe I would like to write, my husband and I love to go to Cape Cod or Martha's Vineyard, so I'm gonna put Martha's Vineyard on there. So it could be something like that. So you could add something that you like to celebrate or do with those people. So I filled out my mind map. This is me at the center and I included a couple different things. You'll see for hobbies, I love to garden. I love taking my dog Posey on a walk. And then I love art. For TVs, music, books, and movies, I included Harry Potter. I love The Good Place. I love Hamilton. We listen to music on my record player. Things I love, art, Harry Potter, plants. I could even put my pets if I wanted to. I could keep going. Fears, I wrote COVID because that's a big fear and anxiety inducing topic right now. Death or loss, that's probably a pretty standard one for most of us. Future plans, my husband and I would love to get a second dog. We wanna buy a house. I would love to travel more when we're able. Tara and I, my husband, we love to go to Martha's Vineyard. We love to cook together. And then my family, we have my brother and sister-in-law live in Maine and my parents are also moving to Maine. So now you're going to pick three words from your mind map to illustrate. So those could be any of the three things that you think stand out the most and are of the most interest to you. So I'm going to circle plants, Harry Potter, and I'll say art. So I'm gonna do those three. And then you can sketch them anywhere on the paper. You can sketch them in your sketchbook or you can source images online to illustrate these three things. So for me, I might put them on here or in my beehive, my shadow box. I could do something in the background. I think what I might do is make a Harry Potter style wallpaper for the background of my shadow box. So I'll do Harry Potter's lightning bolt. I'll probably do the Deathly Hallows. I'll probably put his glasses on. So I'll make it look like it's a little wallpaper. And then maybe I'll even do like a wand. I could do a snitch, just anything related that you would want. So you'll see me do quite a bit more with all of this later. I might put the houses and so on. And then on my shelves, I'm gonna include art and plants. So I think for one object on my shelf, I might put I'll do, I have a couple snake plants at home that stand up nice and tall and I'll make like a cool planter. And then over here I have art. So I think I will do maybe a cup of pencils, different things like that, paint brushes. Maybe I'll add a palette with paint on it and then have like a paintbrush hanging out over there. And then I could even include more plants. So just because I say you are including three words or three objects, you can include more than one object within that. 
but you are only required to do three. So just because you see me doing a few extra, that doesn't mean you have to go over the top. So I have my Harry Potter on this one. I have art supplies here, and then I have my plants. By the end of class today, you should have this finished and ready to go with your plan, and I will give you my approval by returning it to you, or I will add a signature virtually onto your paper. One last thing I will say is after you have filled out your shadow box planning sheet, you can get started planning on your hexagon box if you would like to. If you print this out at home, make sure that you print it in the horizontal or landscape position so that you are able to see it as large as possible. Now with this, you can draw directly onto here and then use scrap paper to draw anything else. So you can use extra paper to draw your objects like my plants and my art supplies and my background. Or you could even use this as a template and use colored paper or thicker paper, whatever you would like. I'm going to do a different background like I had shown you here with my Harry Potter themed kind of wallpaper. I am going to put a shelf and you'll see the instructions for where to cut on the solid line and fold on the dotted line on here. But we will go through this on Monday. So no need to rush yourself or worry that you're not getting ahead here. This will be our activity on Monday. Also to give you more time to get some supplies if you need them.